Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Making a difference is my belief. Here is my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world, my core belief that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the great commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith, and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and life coach minister and host of this show to take your life back today radio show you can see a video version of this if you go to youtube under channel take your life back today show folks in titus 2 11 through 13 for the grace of god has appeared saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately justly and devoutly at this age as we await the blessed hope the appearing of the glory of the great God and of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Unquote. Life can be very busy, filled with work, family tasks, and now your college studies if you're a college student, but we pray that through all of the hustle and bustle you might be going through, you would keep in mind the passage from Titus. While the grace of God does amazing things in our lives, it also acts as our trainer, our teacher, teaching us what is right and how to live. Every person has an opportunity to be saved, even you watching me. Jesus brought salvation to every single person, all of us. This is no one excludes, uh, excluded, no one is. It does not matter what you have done in your life, and it does not matter what mistakes you've made in your past or what sins you have committed. Salvation has been brought to all people. The grace of God is for everyone, and an atonement of Jesus is not limited, but offered to all of us. I hope that you remember daily in your days ahead, years ahead, and as you continue, whatever you might be doing, that the Lord wishes us to live upright, godly lives as we anticipate the return of our saviors. Be ready to turn away from unrighteousness, when those situations should arise and pray for self-control to face any temptation you might have in life that the devil may throw at you. And no matter what you uh, do in the name of the Lord, offering him the glory so that uh, so rightfully you deserve and he deserves. As Christians, we strive to become less like the world in our attitudes, thoughts, and actions. Instead, we strive to become more like Jesus. Live in the light of God's grace, starting today by asking him into your life. You can also call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to anyone can change their day and change their life and can make a difference in your life as well. May God bless each and every one of you and drop to your knees this morning and ask God for guidance and direction and start living the life that will change the way you think the way you act. God is waiting for you. Take care. Bye-bye.